friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat india this is fecal emulsification of a pre intumescent cataract by pre intumescent what i mean is there is convexity of the anterior surface of the cataractous lens but there is no leakage of fluid on incision of the anterior capsule of the cataractous lens by this time the main incision and on side port on the right side of the main incision has been made at this time the anterior capsule is being stained with trypan blue dye underneath an air bubble this is a bit of adrenaline now the dye is washed out viscoelastic substance is injected the anterior chamber is filled off with spmc and now is the time to do capsulorexis before that this is a side port on the left side of the main incision now a 26 gauge bend needle is taken it is introduced through the right side port the anterior capsule is cut and a curved flap is made like this My plan is to do a small rexis first. And here it goes. This is a mini rexis. There is no leakage of any fluid. But there is lot of convexity of the anterior capsule. And here it is. I'm aspirating some cortex to reduce the convexity of the anterior capsule. That's it. As soon as I remove some cortex and inject viscoelastic substance, the anterior capsule will be flat, and the chance of rexis run out will be almost zero. This is the viscoelastic substance, and the anterior capsule is flat now. Here it is. This is. a small nick at the margin of the small rexis now i take you to the forceps hold this tag go anti clockwise remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and here the rexis went to periphery to some extent but it was very easy to retrieve the rexis to bring it on track it was very easy and now do i need any hydro dissection let us see if i can rotate the nucleus yes i can rotate the nucleus so hydro dissection is not required so this is another feature of pre-intumescent cataract if we can rotate the nucleus without hydro dissection we can call it pre-intumescent and now this is submarine chop go through the substance of the nucleus near the opposite equator and chop it again go through the substance of the nucleus and chop it another place this is feco 2 mode vacuum is 450 flow rate is 45 and power in this case is 75% so the nucleus has been divided into four fragments now each fragment is being emulsified and removed and now see how the pieces are being emulsified this is the last fragment the apex comes anteriorly 
and the equatorial region of the fragments rests on the posterior capsule. And this is the last portion of the nucleus and epinucleus they come off. I could not remove this small bit of nucleus so what I do is I come out inject some viscoelastic substance and take a Simco cannula go underneath this fragment go just below this fragment and squat it out through the main incision. So sometimes it is safer to remove small bits of nucleus through the main incision without using any ultrasonic energy. And now cortex is to be removed. This is bimanual irrigation aspiration. Now I'm changing hands. There are a lot of cells just in front of the main incision. Let me see if I can remove that with Simco. There is a small epinuclear piece that has gone behind the posterior capsule. Probably through a small genular dialysis somewhere. And now the bag is being filled up with viscoelastic substance capsular bag and anterior chamber and now the main incision is enlarged little bit because I am using a B cartridge and now this is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens from Bosch and Lomb. <coughs> That's it. The lens is in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance that has been used has to be thoroughly cleaned. This is irrigation and actually double irrigation by Simco cannula. By double irrigation is irrigation through the aspirating port as well as irrigation through the normal passes. And now this is irrigation by the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Thorough removal of viscoelastic substance has to be done if we want 
normal intraocular pressure in the postoperative period. At this time, irrigation and aspiration are being used simultaneously. And that's it. The case is done. We just have to hydrate the side ports so that these step wounds close and form the antechamber. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will inspire you to do two stage rexis even when the cataract is pre intumescent when you see that the cataract is white and there is lot of convexity of the anterior capsule and that is we can say this is pre intumescent cataract and two stage rexis helps in such cases Thank you very much for watching.